I feel like I'm alone in this, this person says. If you covered this already, I'm sorry. Bray Wyatt's return promo was heartfelt and moving, but I believe it was ruined by immediately cutting to the new gimmick. What do you guys think? Okay, Did you I really this think you're re- Okay, go ahead. I watched this tonight, and uh, I don't know what I was expecting, but I was not expecting that. And, uh, yes, his his promo was, was heartfelt. Um, I didn't know exactly what he was talking about at, at all points, but uh, his promo was heartfelt. He was near tears and, and, and cracking. And then all of a sudden the screen flashes and it's the guy in the mask that we saw on the pay-per-view. Listen, now I'm confused. Listen, this guy's not coming back as Wyndham Rotunda. Thank you. Yes, he's, sure. he's not coming back. Like nobody really cared all that much about Husky Harris. Yeah. I did, but no one else did. And uh, you know he's going to be doing a character, and so this was his one opportunity to very briefly give everybody a thank you upon his return, and then we're off and running to the races, and he's going to do this character. So I didn't have any problem with it whatsoever. I mean, the other way to go about doing it is you don't even have him do the promo at all. You just have him come mm-hmm. back as a spooky bloke. So, his- you know, they wanted to have a little bit of a brief moment of... It's just like, guys, you guys know who booking, right? It's Triple H. Mm. Sure. And do you remember what he used to do all the time in NXT when somebody came in and they gave Tell him a new name? They introduced them as their old name. They began their ring entrance That's as their true. old character. Yes. And then the new name showed up on the screen. So he let him come out, say a couple of words and some thank you to people, heartfelt. And now, boom, it's done. We're off to the races. Or his new character is schizophrenic. A schizophrenic? I think that's yeah. an actual term. Yeah. But. Mul- multiple personalities. It could be something of that nature. I mean, yeah, I, I can. I guess I can. I guess the way to put this is I can see both sides. But he came out and I, I watched it and it was. I was I was intrigued because it was something different, something new, and his delivery was very great. And he has been through some hard times in his time away. Has gone through some actual, honest to God, tragedy. And uh, just as I was into it, they do the spooky cartoon Hocus Pocus. Mm-hmm. And I was like, record scratch, pull the rug out from under me. I'm back to not caring again. Um, but again, I didn't think he was going to come back and be Wyndham Rotunda. That's exactly the way I was going to put this. He was going to come back and be a new movie monster bad guy because that's all he does. And uh, I anticipate that uh, by this time next year, we will be voting for Bray Wyatt versus himself as worst feud of the year. I totally forgot this story until just now. And it happened when I was a kid. And so I think there's a decent chance that it could have been like a dream. Yes. And so like I was chopping the tree and uh, I just remember looking up and all of a sudden... Like, this was a weird thing. I remember I looked up and there were Ewoks in the tree. That was definitely a dream. And I saw it coming down. And all of a sudden I was like, I woke up later. This is the weird thing he says. Yeah. It is. Well, it is weird. weird about it. It is weird. There were Ewoks in the tree. Yeah. That's weird. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.